Hi, I'm Emma Gray. And I'm Lee Blickley. And this is Here to Make Friends, a HuffPost podcast for anyone who loves or loves to hate the Bachelor franchise. Lee, thanks so much for filling in for Claire, who is on vacation this week. Of course, she'll be missed, but I'm here to do my best. (laughs) So we're in week two of Hannah Beast's journey for love. And there's a whole lot to talk about. First, we have the best appearance in heels. I think this one has to go to Mike. I totally agree. It's Mike all the way. I mean, he slipped on those red heels and strutted his way around. I was just so impressed by him. I also am just impressed by him weekly so far. That smile. I'm Mr. Right. Next, we have the most underappreciated cameo. Miss J, right? It's got to be Miss J. I mean, are you an ANTM fan? Of course, and also a Drag Race fan. So it was like my two favorite Just reality shows combined into one. On your actual favorite reality An explosion. Show. Just an explosion. And I really just feel like Miss J did not get her due. I don't think so. Not enough screen time. They did not appreciate her. We Do will. better, Bachelorette. Yeah, we're here for you, Miss J. Mm, girl. Let's go to most startling equal opportunity objectification. I think that goes for the entire group date, the whole <laughs> Mr. Right pageant. All of these dudes catwalked in their Speedos. Oh! You know, we're so used to on this show seeing like the women do weird activities in their bikinis. I was like, you know, switch it up. Switch up the gender roles. And I, it's 2019. I, I personally enjoyed seeing some men in some Speedos. They looked yeah. pretty good. They had some confidence. Um, you know, maybe we should make this a regular thing, the Mr. Right contest. Exactly. Just a real, you know, Chris Harrison did need another hosting gig. Yeah. In a Speedo <laughs> maybe next time, Chris. Yeah. Seriously, take notes. Next we have most likely to ruin the word real forever. Well, this has to go to Hannah and Tyler G. It was like a duo thing I mean, they had going on. It was a real tag team situation. I'm going to try my best to, to be real and develop some real. Okay. I never want to hear the word real again. I want to be real with you. I don't even know what it means anymore. Give it to me. Give it to me. That real good real. Next we have the best example of sentient toxic masculinity. Now there's only one for this one, right? You know where this is going. It's Luke P. It's Luke P. Oh, he drives me insane. And he's like the front runner. Um, I don't think he'll last long because no. he's slowly just he's cascading. Gonna, he's going to really flame out. But I mean, man, it's like if you wanted to make an instructional video on like masculinity run awry, just just walk around filming Luke P. There you have it. Yeah, it's I a mean, PSA. If I want something, like I'm going to go and get it no matter what it takes. I'm going to fight for that. Like to the point where I don't care what the scenario is or the circumstance, like I'm going to go with everything that And the Speedo just added an extra touch. Let's go to best recovery from awkward encounter. Oh, Jed. Sweet, sweet Jed. He just walked in on something that not everyone wants to see. Your girlfriend. Shirtless Luke. (laughs) Yeah, with your girlfriend, who's just like vigorously making out. What's going on? Massages, actually. Oh. It was a little awkward, but I have to say he recovered very he nicely. He handled it very well. I, he was able to laugh about it, which, like, you're on this show, and that's the premise. So, like, you got to roll with the punches. <laughs> it is kind of funny if you think about it. Next, most likely to cause someone in the house, or perhaps all of us watching, to mentally break. Um, again, there's only one guy for this. Cam. Cam. It's Cam. Now, how do we really feel about Cam? Because he he was driving me insane last night. I'm trying not to get over analytical, <laughs> to over to over analyze things. He was like in his own show. Yeah. He was performance of one. I don't know what was happening. Was it like live improv? Was he casting himself in the role of? emo love interest. There was a harmonica involved at one point. As I always say, ABC, always be Cam. There was white freestyling. I'm here for the right reasons, ready to be a father, but she's making it kind of hard when she's up in a helicopter. Uh. It was just like, He heated up some chicken nuggets, too. I mean, who has the time to do that when you're trying to win the love of Hannah? I mean, you know, it's dedication. Mm -hmm. Go yourself, dude. Whoa, hey, hey. So before we go, who do you think is the most likely to win this whole thing? I mean, we certainly have a few front runners right now, but based on this episode. Uh, I'd say Jed. 
Not only did he recover really nicely from that awkward situation, he just sang uh, he had the an most actual talent. beautiful tune to Hannah. I'll be your Mr. Right, girl. The most he beautiful. Is gorgeous. He That's is stubble. confident. Sweet, sweet stubble. He's just sweet. And usually we, we get singers on the show, and I don't necessarily trust them, but I no, trust it's not. It's not usually a plus, but Jed is coming off okay. And finally, most likely to be the next Bachelor. So we have two here. Uh, I still think Peter is really in the running, even though we didn't see a whole lot of him. But he just has that, again, that sweet face, that whole pilot thing. Like, there's something about it. And then in my dreams, our next Bachelor would be Mike. Mike. I mean, again, the heels, the personality. The he's nice to the guys. He's great to Hannah. He seems somewhat eloquent, which, like, really this group is not doing super well on. He's handsome. He's very handsome. And also, we have never had a black Bachelor. It's time, It's people. time. So that's it for week two of Hannah B's season of The Bachelorette. Join us again for more love and snark when we discuss week three of The Bachelorette. Until then, you can listen to Here to Make Friends on Apple or anywhere you get your podcasts. Thanks so much.